So the brand new War Tycoon update, which will be featuring something absolutely insane, has just been teased. And honestly, this might be the biggest update of War Tycoon that we've seen in quite a long time. And they will not just have one item, but it will have much more. So in today's video, guys, I will be showing you what exactly is coming to War Tycoon very soon. And I will also be analyzing what it will do, what will be the abilities of it. Uh, of course, the speed and damage and all that stuff. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the next vehicle that War Tycoon will be featuring in their upcoming update is actually going to be a tank that will be very similar to the Abrams X. I predict there is a huge possibility it might be another Game Pass tank. Anyway, what I have to present for you guys is going to be the T-14 Armada, which is currently being used in the Ukraine and Russian conflict. Because we could actually experience what is happening for all these wars and kind of what vehicles are being used in real life to much more bigger extent. So here we have the announcement that was made by Kismotech at the development ping. Quick teaser for what's going to be in the next update. Who knows what tank this is? This update will also include other goodies which will announce in the coming days. No exact release date yet. And I will be giving you guys a summer release date, roughly a kind of like a prediction in the next upcoming videos. So here's a screenshot on how the tank actually looks like. And honestly, I really like the overall design of this tank and it feels absolutely absolutely realistic compared to what we had in real life and geez I am actually surprised because there hasn't been such a cool tank design in such a long time and this might actually become my favorite tank and coming up with the second one which of course will be the Abrams X so what do I think this tank will have this tank is actually incredibly busted and it might even be better than the Abrams X because according to a lot of statistics I've seen online it has way better stats than uh, the Abrams X not even in terms of the game because the, uh, this hasn't really came out in the game yet but there are a lot of information which I have to share with you guys from in real life so here is the first thing how quick is this tank going to be it will be able to go from 50 to 56 miles per hour which will easily mean that it will be faster than the Abrams X and the speed I believe it will have will be from 50 to, f to 55 of course miles per hour which is actually way faster than a lot of tanks in this game. But also along with this, since this tank is very fast, I believe the Abrams X, since it is also a game pass, it should definitely have a little bit of a buff in terms of speed by also making it 55 or even up to 60 miles per hour because it would kind of make sense for it to be a game pass and being better than the T14. So it will have exactly the same cannon as the Abrams X, measuring at 125 millimeter cannon, and it will also have a smooth bore gun and from how it looks like it will not have two guns but it will have one gun and I wonder if this gun will actually fire explosives and that we will probably find out as the update comes out but also a few more uh, details which I noticed is that in real life if you would like to actually hurt this tank you have to actually shoot it from the side and I wonder how the developers will actually be able to tackle this and I wonder if they will make the armor very powerful it definitely has to be a powerful armor because it is incredibly powerful in real life as well I also believe that this tank will be featuring a smoke screen which will be used to of course tackle the javelins and all this stuff to not be able to be locked on by other planes and yeah I don't think it's going to have a javelin lock on launcher because the Abrams X of course has it and it wouldn't also make sense for this tank to have the uh, javelin lock on launcher anyway I do hardly believe that this might even be a game pass and it will definitely be very similar to the Abrams X so if the developers actually want to make it fur and make this a free to play tank they would have to buff the Abrams X. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below how this tank could actually be balanced in the game and there will also be a lot of upcoming updates as time goes. So yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Have a great rest of your amazing day and peace out everybody. Bye bye.